NixOS is trending. Literally everybody is talking about NixOS. So what's up with all the hype? Now NixOS is not a new Linux distro. In fact, it's a 20 year old Linux distro. But it did release a new version recently and the internet is going crazy. So I started my research and I'm left impressed and fascinated by what I found out. NixOS is not your typical Linux distribution, based on another Linux distro with a reskin desktop. No, it would be a huge understatement if I said that NixOS is different. NixOS has a very innovative and unique approach to everything. I really hadn't seen anything like it. I was really curious, so I went in for a deep dive with NixOS. I've been playing around with NixOS for the last fortnight and it has left me thrilled with literally everything. NixOS takes a different approach to how we see operating systems and with this, NixOS breaks away from traditional operating system paradigms, offering a whole new level of control, adaptability and user experience. Really, I'm excited to take you on this journey with me and this cutting edge distro. Before we get anywhere near this distro, it's important that we understand what NixOS is. NixOS is an independently maintained Linux distro that brings a very unique approach. Yes, NixOS is not based on any other Linux distribution. It's completely independent. It has its own package manager called Nix Package Manager. It also has its own software repositories and even its own programming language. NixOS is very unique in a sense that one single file forms the basis of the entire operating system. The entire system is defined in this configuration.nix file and using this file, the same NixOS system can be reproduced on any number of computers. NixOS brings its unique approach to package management as well and creates a system with isolated and fully self-reliant packages that pretty much never malfunction or glitch in any way. NixOS is also highly stable. By implementing a particularly unprecedented, unseen kind of update mechanism, NixOS provides absolute reliability. Put simply, NixOS doesn't break, like ever. All these things have made NixOS a sensation, especially among the software professionals community. NixOS becomes a great choice for developer machines as well as deployment machines, all because of this file. NixOS has a completely different kind of system management, a declarative one. All the aspects about the system, all the variables are explicitly described in the configuration.nix file inside slash etc slash NixOS directory. But there's a major twist here. The system is not just defined in this file, but the system changes or modifies itself according to this file. Let's take a crazy example. All the installed apps are listed in this file here. Now, if you make any changes to this file, let's say you remove one application and add some other application's name. The old app gets removed and the new app gets installed on the system by itself. No, you don't need to manually install the app. One line change cascades and the NixOS system makes the change according to the file. Yeah, let that sink in. Not just package management. Any aspect of the operating system can be changed like this. While there are many benefits of this kind of declarative system, one of the major ones is reproducibility. Yes, with this file, you can make a copy of a NixOS system on hundreds and thousands of computers, all with unimaginable ease. And talk about backups. You just need to make a backup of this file and your entire operating system will be backed up. If you need to, you build the entire system with just this file. Now note that this doesn't back up your personal file stuff. That's not the scope here. An entire development team can be on pretty much the same system using NixOS and that's going to solve a lot of unnecessary problems for you. To rebuild the system from this configuration file, all you need to do is run one command and NixOS will take care of everything. The Nix configuration file is human readable and editable. Nix team have created their own programming language to achieve this. The Nix language serves one purpose. That is, be able to declare the entire system in one file and do so in a human understandable format. It looks very similar to YAML, which is a big plus one over XML. While you will be able to edit the file just like that, I highly recommend copying the file before you make any changes to it. The Nix language checks for errors before it makes any changes to the system. It lets you know where the errors are and what needs to be corrected. Yeah, the developers have thought about everything. But to harness the full power of this system, you need to get familiar with the Nix language and how variables are used here. NixOS provides an onboard manual and documentation on how to use it which is really helpful. NixOS is extremely powerful and the user needs to be comfortable using the terminal and the Nix language to actually use NixOS. In fact, having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really elevates what you can do with the system and what kind of experience you get here. And if you want to level up your Linux game, 
definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express, which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the V editor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than a hundred students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. NixOS brings some strong concepts to package management, which again translate over to some really powerful benefits. First of all, NixOS has the largest software repository of all the Linux distros with over 80,000 packages. For comparison, Debian has 60,000 and it's pretty huge in itself. This one thing itself is a huge advantage. Literally anything you want can be installed here directly. In fact, I could easily install some packages that I couldn't find in both Debian and Ubuntu repositories and I could do it relaxing over a cup of coffee directly from the NixOS repositories. Second. NixOS brings a very robust method of dependency management. Every package must explicitly declare or tell the system which all packages it depends on and their version numbers exactly. Nix package manager gets the exact version of dependencies automatically and builds a kind of containerized applications. Now if another application depends on some other version of an existing dependency, that particular version is downloaded and used with the new app. For every application, unique directories are created and they contain the apps along with all the dependencies. Every app contains its dependencies along with itself. So we pretty much get most of the advantages of containerized apps like snaps and flat packs, all while being lightweight. You can even install multiple versions of the same app and they'll coexist without any conflicts as they are installed in their own separate directories which behave like containers. This ensures that the same version of software will install and behave exactly identically on all machines. There is no difference in any application behavior on multiple machines due to different versions of dependencies. This can be a big advantage in development and deployment environments as the system and applications behave exactly as you expect on all the systems. But it works on my machine, it's not something you'll get to hear with NixOS. Another great thing here is, you can install applications system-wide using the configuration file or you can install the applications and packages just for the user without needing the root password. First step in both the ways would be to search the package in the NixOS package repository, link is given in the description below. Note the exact name of the package you want to install. If you want to install it system wide, go over to the configuration.nix file and paste the package name in here. Save the file and run the NixOS rebuild command. If you want to install it directly without root permissions, you can use this command. You don't need root password for this and the application integrates deeply with the system normally. How great is this? This makes the job of a system administrator so much simpler. You can install a template OS for all the members of your team which contains all the tools and applications needed for work and then the users can further customize the system according to their liking. You have the security layer and robustness and you have freedom. NixOS releases a new version twice a year. We get updates in May and November every year. NixOS is a stability oriented distro and brings stable and very well tested packages. There's also an unstable branch which keeps on rolling to provide testing packages for the stable release. If you want, you have the option to get packages from the unstable branch as well. But for most people, the stable branch would be the best option. NixOS primary audience is the developer community and recently many teams and cohorts are adopting NixOS as the advantages we have seen till now and we are yet to see are quite compelling. NixOS provides a very reliable system for critical systems. With its declarative system and innovative package management, NixOS becomes a great option for development teams. Additionally, the packages are very stable, which just add to the value we are getting here. You get reliable and well-tested packages here. Not necessarily the newest, but definitely dependable. Another great thing about NixOS is how it handles updates. You love this. NixOS goes the atomic update route and has a very transactional approach to performing updates. NixOS understands it's catering to a very sensitive set of users and use cases. So it takes very careful steps around how the system is updated. First of all, updates are applied only when you explicitly tell the system to update. Automatic update option is available but is disabled by default. Then these updates are fully atomic in nature. When the system is updating, only if the update process completes without any issues, the new and updated system comes into force. If there are any problems, interruptions like power cuts during the update process, 
it doesn't mess up the system and your old system will be fully functional and accessible for you. In fact, even if the upgrade process goes smooth and all is well, the old system is still kept intact and you can boot into it. Yeah, enter generations. Every time you update the system or make any changes to the system like installing applications, a copy of the configuration.nix file is created and the system snapshot is preserved. These snapshots are called generations. The state of your system before you update the system will be your old generation and the updated system will be the new generation. And guess what? You can easily switch between these states whenever you want. And the place this option to switch generations is provided couldn't have been more convenient. When you start your Nix OS system, the grub menu gives you the option to choose whichever generation of your Nix OS system that you want to boot into. If anything goes wrong during an update or you want to use the system before the update, you can just boot into the old version. This ensures that you have a working and reliable system all the time. This ensures that NixOS never breaks. This is the ultimate mic drop from NixOS. And talk about how simple it is. If an update changes something or you feel like the update is not good for your project, you just roll back, just like that. This also gives you the option to test out new packages and updates without having to fully commit to them. There's no trade-off here. And these generations are created at the highest sensitivity. You install one single application and that creates a new generation. How can such a system even break? If everything is working and working great after an update, you can go ahead and manually delete the old generation after taking some buffer time to confirm the stability. Alright, now that we have gone over all the nitty gritty details, let's take a step back and have a look at some important aspects of NixOS starting with the performance. NixOS performed great on my PC. It was fast to boot, app opening, launching, everything was smooth and I enjoyed the overall experience of using NixOS. The configuration of your NixOS does have an impact on your system performance, but I felt that the defaults are just great for most use cases. If you face any lags or feel like your system is running slow, check out the hardware.nix file in slash hc slash nixos and check if the powermanagement.cpufreckgoverner is set to power save. This will throttle the performance by a lot and you'll get subpar performance. Quick tip, change the power save or even the on-demand option to performance and you'll see blazing performance with nixos. If this tip helps you, let me know in the comments below so that I can sprinkle such tips and tricks in my future videos as well. Performance with heavier tasks is great as well. Gaming, compiling and rendering will perform great on NixOS. Just make sure to check out the above variable value. For day-to-day -day usage like browsing, doing some office work, watching some videos and even coding and stuff. It all works butter smooth on NixOS. The system feels very optimized throughout. NixOS is extremely flexible with user interface options. During installation, all the desktop environments like GNOME, KD Plasma, Cinnamon, XFC and many more are made available. You can install NixOS in any flavor that you want. All the desktops come in their full stock form and there are no additional modifications or branding done here. Only a simple NixOS wallpaper is all we get in the form of branding. I really like that we get stock portions of all the desktop. For servers, you also get the no desktop option for a super lightweight CLI based installation. I obviously went with GNOME and we get the latest version of GNOME desktop here and it looks absolutely gorgeous here. While I enjoyed using this here, I did keep thinking about building a NixOS system with this cinnamon desktop. That would be pretty cool. It's highly appreciable that the great and mighty things of NixOS are available in all the desktop options, so no matter what your UI preferences are, you can enjoy NixOS. Just great. Does NixOS have a steep learning curve? Yes. But at the same time, it's easy to get started with. NixOS is easy to get started with and hard to master. But the getting started point is very important. The ease of downloading and installing NixOS is extremely easy. Installing additional software is pretty easy too, but you should know what you're doing. You can't just figure it out on your own. But I've already shown you how to install additional software on NixOS in this video. You can have a look at the description below for commands and more help. Now this is functional knowledge. It's enough for you to get started with and start using NixOS. Moving further, you will have to put in the time and learn things. But trust me, it's going to be super satisfying, fun and absolutely worth it. I agree, NixOS is a daunting endeavor, but you don't have to be alone on this journey. NixOS has a great community that's growing at a really fast pace. Recently, NixOS has kind of picked up and everybody is talking about it. Especially in the software development scene, NixOS is trending. While NixOS may not be the next Red Hat and Cruise Linux, at least not yet, who knows what's next with all the Red Hat drama going on. Nevertheless, NixOS is adored in the development scene. Firstly, NixOS comes with a very detailed and well-written onboard manual that addresses pretty much everything. 
most beginners are going to be busy with this manual for a long time. While it's not ArchWiki, I did find it satisfactorily useful as a NixOS beginner. And if you have any problems or issues or just need to know how to do something on NixOS, you can find information online very easily. And with NixOS, solving issues is really easy with most of the time you needing to copy paste some configuration lines into your main configuration file. As I said, there is a learning curve with NixOS, but the community and NixOS wiki make the learning path easier and vastly manageable. For such an enhanced Linux distribution, NixOS has a surprisingly simple and beginner-friendly installation procedure. You fetch the ISO file from the official website, flash it onto a USB stick, live boot into it, and things will be taken care of by the Calamaris installer. Calamaris is one of the best Linux installers and it makes everything easy. All the options are represented in simple terms so even Linux newcomers feel comfortable here. In addition to the usual options and parameters, the installer also gives the options to choose non-free software and the default desktop environment here. As I said earlier, all the desktop options are available here so you can pick the one you like. If you have NixOS configuration files, you can use them with the rebuild command to clone or restore NixOS systems onto newer spaces. That is one of the primary selling points here. Once you install and configure a NixOS system, you'll be able to create copies of it whenever you want with the configuration.nix file. Now one big thing that you should notice, Nix Package Manager is available for installation on other Linux distros, macOS and Windows subsystem for Linux. This is a whole different Pandora's box, but basically, since Nix packages are very contained and are built with all the dependencies, these packages can be installed on other systems as well. These packages both isolate and integrate with the other systems in just the right way. Using the Nix package manager, you'll be able to install applications and packages on other distros and operating systems as well. We'll not get too much into it, but yeah, you have that option as well. NixOS is a phenomena. It definitely is a super tier Linux distribution up there with Arch Linux and Gentoo. But the thing is, unlike Arch and Gentoo, there is an element of ease to it. The installation is simple and even doing beginner level tasks like installing applications is manageable. But yeah, there's no graphical way to do a lot of things here, so you have to grow with it. But I really enjoyed using it. I'm super comfortable using the terminal, so maybe it was because of that. And if you want to level up your Linux game, check out my course Linux Mastery Express, which is designed to teach you a set of powerful commands, help you master the V-Editor, and teach you shell scripting in a super fun way. I've designed this course to make you super comfortable with the Linux terminal very fast, in the shortest amount of time possible. So check that out. NixOS is created for a particular set of audience. While anybody can use it for any kind of usage, that kind of versatility is built into NixOS. But mainly, it solves certain problems that we software professionals face, especially around the DevOps aspect. So if you're a software professional, definitely check out NixOS as it has the potential to add a lot of value to your work and career. NixOS is going to be a great investment, so definitely check it out. And for us, the everyday Linux user, NixOS does bring an exciting and playful environment. I really enjoyed playing around with NixOS knowing that I can't mess up. Even if I do, NixOS is going to take care of me. NixOS was a breath of fresh air for me. I got to test drive something very different after a long time and it was a great experience. Top points for NixOS throughout. You can download NixOS using the link given in the description below. Next up, check out my curated list of the best Linux distros for software developers and programmers. I've got 5 really cool distros there, so don't miss that. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. Also, talk to me in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion about NixOS. Well, this is Linux Techs, signing out.